Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to rename a large number of files or photos in one easy step. A good example where you might want to do this is if you have to rename a collection of photos acquired from say your cameras or phones. Uh, typically these, these photo file names are usually a unique sequence of numbers and or letters which can be quite meaningless. Uh, by having the photos with descriptive names it makes them easier to identify and sort later on. So in my example here, I have 37 photos to rename. I'll switch over to detail view so you can see that as a list. Okay, so they're just all numbers. Okay, what I'm going to do is go back to large icon view. Now, so one quick way is just to do a select all. Then right mouse click over the first photo and then it brings up the context menu and you select rename which is the third one from the bottom sorry the uh, context menu doesn't show up in, in this video so then I would type in something like puppy and as you can see all the, f all the files are now renamed in sequence with the word puppy and the numbers suffix with brackets around them if you make a mistake just control Z to undo Another way is to selectively pick out the files that you want to rename. So I might pick that lot, that lot, that lot, that bit, that bit, and that bit. And then I'll go and say, call that Poppy. And it just renames those files. And then you can go to another lot. So say this one, this is another, I'll call these filters because they belong to my filters in my pool okay um, another way is let's say you forgot a couple of files that should have also been called puppy but you left them out from the first step so what you can do here is say select the ones you want to so call puppy and select rename again and then if you type in puppy that sequence should then continue on as you can see so it's now 16, 17, 18, 19 note if you try this technique on just a single file so if I rename this one here puppy it won't apply the numbering to it but however if I do it again to another file which I've forgotten to do so say this one it now prompts me to rename it with a suffix hopefully you can see the pop-up screen but I click yes and then I get puppy 20 here and then you can apply that similar technique again to other photos you've forgotten so say these other ones here and I'll click rename I'm calling this puppy and there you have it so you can easily rename files very quickly by using the technique that I described here so you can see all the files have been renamed with the exception of that puppy which was a single rename which I described before if you found my video useful please click the like button and or subscribe thanks for watching